Good morning, it's swap out the sheets day. And I've got these beautiful new sheets from Brooklyn in that I'm gonna throw in the wash. And we're gonna put them on the bed. M-O-O-T-D. back to another week in my life in New York City. This is a really exciting week. We're kicking off our Gals in the Go live show tour. I am so excited. We're starting off in Philly this Thursday. Yesterday morning, I flew back from Indiana because Delaney and I went to go see Taylor Swift. It was oh, so fun, so go watch that vlog if you haven't already. Um, and today is a get your life together, clean your sheets, workout kind of day. We have a rehearsal later today for our Gals in the Go shows. My mom is coming to town tomorrow and we're doing some fun New York City things while she's here and she's also coming to the Philly show. So it's just gonna be a really fun dynamic vlog and I wanted to take you guys along this week. Um, but of course, I did clean my sheets, change my sheets. These are Brooklinen. You guys know how much I love Brooklyn Inn. I love doing a little mix and match moment from Brooklyn Inn in specific, especially, you guys know I love like an all white aesthetic, of course, but in the fall winter time, I do a lot of self tan, spray tan situations. And I do prefer a darker sheet for that. Um, so I got the this really beautiful, like rich taupe color from Brooklyn Inn. This is the hardcore bundle from Brooklyn Inn. So I got the duvet cover, the core sheet set, and pillowcases. So it is such a great thing to do. It's so easy if you're moving into a new place or you're just wanting to upgrade your life a little bit. Like I am so excited to get in this bed tonight because I just know I'm going to sleep so, so, so well. I also like it because like I was saying, you can mix and match. It's super customizable on the website too. It's very, very fun. So if you want to do like a white duvet cover, but then the darker sheets or printed sheet, whatever it may be, you can totally mix and match, which is so fun. Um, so I opted for, like I said, this beautiful taupe color, like seriously, cannot wait to get in bed tonight. Like I'm, it's just the best feeling, especially when you got like brand new sheets. I mean, come on. But the beauty with Brooklinen is honestly, the more I wash these, the softer they get and the more amazing they are. You guys know how much I love a hotel. I feel like I'm in a hotel every time I get into my Brooklinen bed. Brooklinen has all kinds of sheets, but my personal personal favorite is the Lux Sateen sheet. So this is the Lux Sateen hardcore sheet set. This just feels so nice. I just can't get over how buttery smooth and like rich this is. And my duvet cover is also a Lux Sateen um, duvet cover. And what I love about this is if you're a hot sleeper, or a cold sleeper, like this is made for, it's very light and breathable. It's made for all year round comfort. So you don't have to worry about like changing based off the season, like it's all year round. Thank you so much to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. It's always a pleasure working with them because I love and use Brooklyn Inn every single day of my life. Um, and if you wanna get 15% off your first Brooklyn Inn order, I will have that link down below for you to click to get that discount. I've gotten my whole family, my whole family's household is on Brooklyn Inn. My boyfriend does, does uses Brooklyn Inn. Obviously Brooke, like we just love Brooklyn Inn in this household and my surrounding friendships because it's just that amazing. Like literally whenever my friends come over, they are like, can I sleep over because your bed's so comfortable? I'm like, yeah, I know, it's Brooklyn. And so thank you again to Brooklyn for sponsoring this video. Now I'm just gonna finish making my bed and we're gonna shower and kind of get the day started. I'm just so obsessed with my shower here. I get excited to take showers. Like how fun is that? Also, Claudia Salewski, I talked about this on the podcast, came out with her brand Cycler. This Naked Neroli Sensorial Body Wash smells so good. Like I can't even, like it's so good. Obviously I always love my Lositon cause it like, it's good for shaving and stuff honestly. But I do have to say, it smells amazing. We're gonna get the shower going and start the day, like I said. <laughs> Just took my shower. I'm considering getting one of those cute um, towel warmers for the winter time. Like that just sounds so luxe and this bathroom is so big, I have room. I also, a little update here, like this is gonna have to go or I'm gonna get baskets that fit because this just like is not doing right with the rest of the bath. Like this is so luxe and then toilet paper and my empties, like no. So I'm still figuring out what I wanna do here, but 
a towel warmer could just perfectly go right there so I could have warm towels for my shower. I don't know, just thought if you guys have towel warmers, let me know if it's like worth it. Also, I'm really wanting to start to take more baths. I have a lovely, beautiful bath. I've taken one bath so far and it was nice, but I, my problem is I stay in the bath for like 10 minutes. So I don't know, but I did get some Epsom salts because there's times where I'm sore after a workout. My mom is like, take an Epsom salt bath. I didn't have any. So I got some and I got this beautiful little container off of Amazon and it has this scoop, like how luxe. We love that. So that makes me happy. That's a little home improvement right there. Um, and I should take a bath soon, probably. Oh, but the reason I turned on the camera is because something I'm not necessarily proud of, but I do love is I have this um, magnetic Octo Buddy to put on my phone case so I can use it as I please and it still works really nicely. And I do love putting this on the wall and listening to a podcast or something because I always like to listen to something while I'm um, in the shower, like it's just what I do. But if I leave it out here, you can't really hear it in here. <laughs> so I need it to be in here with me. And it's fun because sometimes I'll watch a YouTube video, like if it's like an everything shower and I'm doing everything. So that's my little random thing that makes me happy. Also, while we're at it, I get a lot of questions about my phone case on Instagram. It's from Case to Buy. It's like a tortoise case. I love it so much. It's mag safe. So therefore I can put that little Octobuddy on here, no problem. And it's great. Let's do some skincare. I've been so into using an essence of sorts. This is the essence I'm using right now. It's Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Acid Toner um, off of Amazon. My facialist told me to get this. She was like, you don't need to spend a lot of money on essence. Like, it's just basically prepping your skin to absorb the rest of the liquids. And I just can't get over this. She explained essences as like, if you take a dry sponge and put soap on it, it's not gonna absorb, but if you have a wet sponge and put soap on it, it'll absorb. So that's what like the essence is supposed to do, it's supposed to help absorb the rest of your products. And she has me doing something called drowning your skin with the essence. Like she said to put the essence on like three to four times and just saturate the skin because it also just makes it easier when I go to get facials and stuff to extract. And my skin's just been doing so well especially a little update. I have been off birth control since July now. And a lot of you guys know, I was really, really, really concerned with the fact that I could be breaking out really bad. Doing some hyaluronic acid, this is from Kiehl's. And uh, skin has been doing really well. Like I was so scared because I went on birth control when I went on Accutane in high school, because my skin was really bad. And I've stayed on birth control for years because I thought that it was really helping my skin and it definitely was. Like my period was last week and I definitely have some breakouts along my chin, but they've flattened now and that doesn't really bother me. So I'm really, I'm, I'm seriously thanking the skin gods because I was so nervous about it and I'm feeling good. Like I don't feel too crazy different off of birth control, like emotionally, like I was kind of hoping maybe I'd feel this like crazy different emotion. Skin Fix Barrier Cream, of course, triple lipid peptide cream. Um, to kind of finish it off and I like don't feel super different by any means so I'm just gonna keep it going the reason that I went off of birth control is so that we could test my hormones um, and I did that blood test a month or two ago and I actually just had my doctor's appointment yesterday to go over it amazing news overall my hormones are oh she like worded it a certain way I'm making good hormones. I think that's how she said it. Like I'm making good hormones, which is good. Um, so there wasn't anything to be super alarmed about, but my cholesterol went down, um, which is really exciting. because I've started taking some new supplements and just trying to change little diet things because high cholesterol runs my family. Um, and I'm just, I'm really proud of myself because health stuff freaks me out. I have health anxiety for sure. And I was like, let me just get ahead of this and start going to the doctor. She's internal medicine, but um, specializes in functional medicine. So she's just the perfect balance of both. And I'm so obsessed with it. And it's really just inspired me. And I'm really proud of myself for getting ahead of my health. So this is a reminder, if you've been putting off your health journey in any sort of way, just do it. You'll be so happy with yourself. And I feel so grateful that I'm still very young so that you know, if we see these levels, some things are out of order. I have, I'm able to like take action and do things to lower those levels. So we're gonna do another test in like 
a few months and like see how it's going. But I'm feeling really good and I was just so excited. It's really motivating when you make changes and you actually see results. It's like, even if there are little results, whatever it may be, like it's like, okay, what I'm doing is working and it just makes you wanna keep going, but it definitely takes consistency. So just thought I'd share that. I got a couple questions like, how is it going? Being off birth control. My plan was to go back on birth control. Like once I did all these tests, but I'm like, I remember when I went on birth control in high school and it was such an adjustment period, like my mood and everything. And I'm like, I'm kind of vibing right now. So I don't know. There's lots of options. We shall see, but I also like don't want to get pregnant. So <laughs> that's where we're at right now. And I'm going to figure out what to do with my hair. It's definitely like would benefit from a wash, but I feel like wash my hair. It's kind of like a hat day for me, I think. It's a hat day, I've decided. <laughs> I changed my mind. This has been my favorite thing. Like even just putting in heatless curlers for an hour while I'm like still getting ready, truly it does something. It like adds some texture to the hair. Um, and I just love these so much. So go acquired style, flexi hair. You know, I look crazy but it's also cute and feminine, you know? While I have you guys, I am also looking for opinions on Christmas tree situation. So obviously I have my beautiful Danielle ficus. I'm so obsessed with her, I actually need to water her. And I feel like that is the perfect spot to put a Christmas tree. However, that's not moving. That does not have another place to go. I am like, am I just not gonna do a Christmas tree this year? Like I was thinking I could do garland instead, but like, Christmas trees are so me. Like I have my pretty ornaments, it's like my thing. So, and keep in mind, my tree is super skinny. I'm gonna get a new one from Michaels because my last one just said goodbye. No more lights, it was just done. Um, but it literally, I mean, it could fit here, but I don't really like the idea of a tree here and a tree there. I actually hate that. So I'm just trying to figure out what that's gonna look like and like, yeah, I could put a tree over there, but when you're sitting on the couch cozy watching Christmas movies, you won't be able to see the tree. So seeking advice, seeking opinions, um, I don't know. Another option is I could put the tree there in the middle of the artwork, but then it's definitely like a walking hazard. Like it would definitely like this whole thing would, yeah, that just won't work. Ugh. Guys, I'm sad, I really don't know what to do. And like, that truly is so heavy. Like, I don't even know. I guess I could get Ryan to help me move the plant, the tree here. I don't know, it's it's nothing's perfect, but let me know what you guys think down below, please. Thank you. Heaven Mayhem came out with these jewelry books. How cute, your everyday essentials. I don't know why I went rogue and got the leopard one. I feel like it kind of doesn't go in here, but I love it. It literally looks like a book and you can shut it and then you open it. And this is just like pieces that I always grab for. It's not my whole collection by any means, but has a lot of my everyday rings, which is really convenient. And then like some everyday jewelry. If I just, if I don't want to go in my closet, I just want to grab some, like I have been loving this. She also came out with one in red, I think, and maybe one other color, but I love it. Does that look better? But I feel like this looks nice because then you can see the spine of the book. It's the little things, like I don't even know. It probably doesn't matter that much. <laughs> my bedroom rug finally came, which will be a journey because ideally, you know, you get your rugs before you get your furniture, so you can just put the furniture on top, but that's okay. I got it from Rugs USA. All of my rugs are from Rugs USA. And it's also like a nice taupe beige color. So the goal is to get that under my bed this week. And my lighting fixture finally came in for my living room. That's why that hole's there, so I need to, get someone to come here soon and put that up. That's gonna, I think it's just gonna pull this room together because obviously that hole is just so ugly. And I could have gotten something to fill it, but I knew I was I was getting a light. So I was like, I'll just live with the hole. But see, now that I've pointed out, you probably can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I ended up putting on a hat after all. I ordered myself Duncan and I'm about to head over to Brooke's apartment because we have a rehearsal for our live show. Oh, look at that iced coffee. Um, no, they didn't give me a straw. I mean, I probably have like a glass straw, but that sucks. I want the, the pretty Duncan straw. I guess I'll put a, a clear straw in my coffee. Oh my God, that's so good. 
from duncan i get a decaf iced coffee it's like the only place i know that actually has decaf iced coffee and i do two creams one sugar and it tastes like college to me because me and delaney used to like go get duncan in the mornings anywho here is my outfit i'm i'm loving this outfit or this set from remy bader's edited collection with sam's club and then i just have this aritzia tee under and then some new balances us open hat and these earrings are electric picks let's go good morning it's wednesday morning i'm sweating a lot i didn't know how to dress i'm wearing like fuzzy slippers and a jacket because i just didn't look at the weather and assumed it's cold outside and i'm sweating I'm meeting Cass and we're going to Pilates. We're going to Brooks Pilates again. She's she's tough in a good way. And uh, they're like a referral, they go off referrals. So if you DM them, say I referred you, you can take a class with them. They're great. It's a really great studio in Chelsea. So I'm headed there now in my very outfit, weather confused outfit. There's Cassidy. She looks cute. <laughs> Look who made it to New York City. No one knows. No one knows she's here until tomorrow when we bring her and Adina up on stage in Philly. I'm so excited. So she got here and we were both just feeling tired and blah. So we meditated. Not actually. I'm sure she meditated. I rested, listened to some jazz music, and now we're going to go get some dinner thinking of going to chelsea market and just seeing what they have to offer I, my outfit is very just weird honestly like it feels like a cozy fall night but it is 74 degrees outside in november so just i i really didn't know what to wear i don't want to wear like a summer dress though and we're just and i don't want to wear makeup so anyways i'm wearing this rowing blazer sweater i might be hot <laughs> jeans or abercrombie and then my white little Amazon heel or heels flats. And then my Amazon glasses because I'm not wearing makeup and this makes me feel, I feel like it goes with the rowing blazers vibe, like very academia energy. I was just telling my mom, I want a good pair of like, not ballet flats, but like a slip on shoe that's not a slipper. However, slippers are really in right now, supposedly, like to wear with your outfits. I don't like, I don't want to always have to put on a sneaker but like a slot, like a slip on, I don't know if it would be a loafer or just something, an easy slide on shoe that's not like a flip flop. So I'm trying to figure that out for like fall, winter. I like the easy answer is Uggs, but like today it's kind of warm. Like I don't want to wear Uggs. So comment down below if you guys have any suggestions of like style of shoe. But yeah, we're gonna go get some food and then come back. I have a spray tan tonight. Um, got to pack up because we're doing a road trip to Philly tomorrow and I'm so excited. Um, I'm obsessed with your airport outfit. This tea. Give us, no, wait, tell wait. us about, oh my God. tell us about the tea. It's from Madewell. I went to Nordstrom's and I had some old lady bring me five different white t-shirts and this is the one that fit. I Maybe love it, you guys. Like it's like ribbed. it's ribbed. I love where it cuts on your arm. It's very flattering. With these jeans, do you know where they're from? They're Boston proper. Boston proper. They fit so good. They fit so good on the tukus. You look so cute. You know those guys. Your Uggs. I love them. This outfit's so cute. I know where that is. And that's from. Electric Pig Six Daniel <laughs> Carolyn. So, are you in the mood for any cuisine? Well, I like that Mediterranean place, but I don't think that's your vibe. It's not my vibe it's tonight. Vibe. It's like, I'm not an adventurous eater, and that place has... But there's a lot of good places in there. Yeah, we'll find something that's good. So, so yeah. Okay, brush your teeth. Peace bye out. bye. Peace out, peaceful Michelle. My spray tan and Ryan came over and we're chatting on the roof. It's a nice night. Very pretty. Morning friends, it's Thursday morning. We've got the Philly live show leaving in like an hour and a half. We're driving there. My mom just went for a walk. I had Glam Squad come and I got my hair done. You can't see it because it's dark. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of ice rolling. We're gonna get our makeup done there. Kat is coming with us. And I'm so excited. I'm feeling so, like I can't believe it's finally begun or it's about to begin. And the show is so fun. We're doing something fun in the beginning of the show that we're gonna try out and see how it goes. But hopefully it goes well because I'm really excited about it. Packed my bag, packed my outfit. This is our first show where we're not wearing pink. Um, not to say that we won't wear pink in the future, but we just wanted to like have fun and you know, try some different colors out and just wear whatever the heck we want. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm excited. Shadow matches my yeah. dress, which is over oh, here. So pretty. Vibing in the in the backstage area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got the tea box. This is awesome, right? I love it. We got sent this beautiful cake from the sugary. Who is she? Obsessed. Those cherries look so good. Like I want to eat one. Brooke, how does it feel? Our first live show of this Who Is She tour. I feel so excited about this material, I have to say. It's fun, it's fresh. I feel really excited for some new fun material. Yeah, I feel like it's like fun to try something new. Yeah. We're trying some new things in store. And you have new hair color. <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? Kat, are you excited? She's excited. She Ooh. is really excited. That is really exciting. I'm interviewing everyone. <laughs> Documentary. Look who's here! Miss Tori! We're so honored. Oh! Hello, you! Who is she? We're so excited. She came to our other Philly show. And now she's gonna see the first show of this. So. No, I'm so excited. You're such a supporter. We love you. We love you. And our shows love you. Yeah. So we've got our outfits on. We just took lots of pics and vids and all the things. We're gonna have a fun time. You ready, Brooke? I'm so ready. Let's do it. <laughs> to everyone that came it was truly the perfect first show the energy was there people freaked out when we brought the moms on stage it was worth the surprise and now we're listening to some jazz music having coffee and tea and uh yeah it was just like really good laughs it made me really excited for our next show so come to new york if you haven't already it's gonna be a really fun time and yeah, I'm feeling really grateful. So I'm um, trying to figure out what we're gonna do today. My mom has a few requests, so we're gonna see if we can get those to happen. But yeah, good morning, happy Friday. Mom made me this lovely egg sandwich. I am working on photos and some stuff because People Magazine is covering the live show, which is so fun. So mom make, made me some food. And then we're gonna get the day started, I promise. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, mom, where are we headed? We are gonna go get a smoothie and then I know. I thought we were gonna do like Central Park fully. She goes, I've always wanted to see Statue of Liberty and it's kind of a pretty day. I'm like, all right. Um, so here is my outfit. I'm gonna also take her, I think, to Happier Grocery because it's like so cool and it's very up her vibe, very wellness. It's kind of like the Air One of New York. Um, so I have this park denim set on 
in a white tank and some New Balance sneaks. No makeup, just some lip balm all over my face. And yeah, and she looks so cute too. Love it, she's got my hat on and my bag on. You excited yeah. for the day? Yeah, I very much am. Woo I'm waiting on morning, so yes, yes. Yeah, I know, I've been making her wait, so I'm like, I'm ready now. <laughs> of Liberty. From the Liberty Bell to Statue of Liberty, we're just having a monument week. And it was really fun. It was really cool to go to Ellis Island. It's definitely something I've always wanted to do. And sometimes it takes someone, to come, someone coming to visit you to do those things in your own city that you might not do because no one else wants to. But um, it was really nice. And now we are getting ready because mom is coming with me to some influencer events. Very exciting. Two brands that I love and use their products. The first event is with Hotel Lobby Candle. I love their candles. I obviously love what they're all about is making your home feel like a hotel lobby. So, And then the other event, thankfully, is a two minute walk away from the Hotel Lobby event, which is perfect. And that is with Odd News. They're doing a pop up in New York. Um, I actually went to their store in London. Like I love their clothes. And uh, they actually sent me an outfit to wear tonight, which is so exciting. So we're gonna stop by both of those and then we're, we're really ambitious today, but I think we can do it. Um, that's what we do, you know? We just do a whole weekend's worth in one day because that's what we do. But my mom did extend her flight. Um, she was supposed to leave tomorrow at like 9 a.m. like from my apartment to make her noon flight. But now she doesn't have to leave here until like noon or one o'clock so we can have a morning because um, we have a few more things we wanted to do. So yeah, oh, but tonight we would like to go see Wicked because obviously the movie's about to come out and it's just very timely and me and my mom both love dinner and a show. So that is the goal for the night. And I, I, do, I do think we can make it happen. Um, so prayers up. <laughs> Uh, I have this really cute dress from Odd Muse. It's like black off the shoulder. I think I need to steam it really quick. Uh, and I'm gonna wear it with like tights. It's the perfect dinner and a show outfit, except for dinner. We had to cut our losses somewhere and that is with dinner. So I have some eat clean bro meals that my mom liked. You liked it, right? Eat clean bro, I eat, love it. <laughs> eat clean bro. So that's, we just had that for dinner. Um, and my mom was like, you know, sometimes I come to New York for, food and then other times I come to do things and you kind of have to pick. I love dinner show, but we're also both in like our best eat at home vibes. Even though I didn't cook Eat Clean Bro, it's great ingredients, so. And yeah, I'm excited. Just, I still have my hair curled from last night. I slept in heatless curlers too, just to preserve the curl, but I'm definitely gonna plug in my curling iron. Our goal is to leave in 15 minutes. Uh, so prayers up for that as well. And yeah. I'm excited for our Friday night in New York. Always a, a fun time. Here is my outfit tonight. It definitely came together. Dress is Odd Muse. It's so beautiful. Bag is DSW. Shoes are Kurt Geiger. And then I've got some sheer tights. Curled the hair. I've been doing the same lip color from Say. I have it linked on my LTK. 
um, and some silver earrings because it's a silver night, as you can see. I'm pretty proud of this look I pulled together. Oh. Mom's in the in the styling closet. I know. Love this dress. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can't wear those brown. Yeah, I just. I don't think so. Was it bag? Funny? You need a black bag, I think. Okay, so. So any, I'm using this one. Yeah. Well, you do wear it like a shoulder. Oh, you can. Yeah, you do double it. Pull up the other one. Then you go like that. Chanel, or you can do bow tags. That's just, that's so it is so cute though. It's it's loud, but it's cute. Like loud, not visually, but audibly. I think either. I guess that one might be loud in the theater bag down the Mew is cute. Depends on how much you need to fit in there. Why don't you look in the mirror, see what feels right? to see Wicked. You guys don't even know what's been going on. We rushed back to my apartment and then we're gonna buy the tickets and the prices went up and then we found where the prices were down and then I, we were already home so I changed. It was the whole thing. We made it! <laughs> we made it to Wicked with two minutes to spare but we're here. Dinner and a show. A little pizza after the show. Very happy. Guys, this place, Roma Pizza, we just stumbled in. It is, that was a great slice of pizza in New York. Like, I, I, it's, it's up there in the rankings. It's good. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. Wicked was amazing. The talent in that show. Like, oh my gosh. Glinda and Elva, like, crush. I mean, all the other characters did too, but I was just blown away. I, have, I think I saw Wicked when I first moved to New York with Daily, I think. And then I saw Wicked when it came to Tampa when I was younger. I think that's it. Or maybe I saw it another time in New York when we came here. I'm not sure. Wow. Like, it's just, it's just that show. Like, it's just that good. Like, I feel like it's a true Broadway show. And obviously it is, I feel like. I feel like me, Danielle the Critic. No, it was amazing. I was engaged the whole time. The music is so... Ugh. It was just so cute too. It felt like Aerostore in a way. Like so many girls were like dressed as like Alphaba or Glinda or like in their pink and green. Like it was so sweet. But it's a little chilly today and this is my outfit. My mom's leaving in a few hours, but we're gonna go get a bagel, split a bagel and get protein smoothies because she's obsessed with Jewish Generation now too. I wish it was a chain all around, all around the United States, but it's just in New York. Broke out my Mew Mew Puffer. She hasn't been out this year yet, uh, or this season, should I say. And then I'm just wearing a little Skims long sleeve, my Lululemon belt bag, leggings, sneaks. And yeah, I slept in heatless curlers last night and they did their job. They fully did their job. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have another great day. We're gonna walk along the High Line, I think as well, and go to the Vessel because it's now open to go up it and maybe stop by Sephora. We have a lot we wanna do and my mom has to leave for the airport at 12.30. So it's 9.30, I feel confident because I mean, you guys saw how much we did yesterday, like Statue of Liberty, <laughs> two events, wicked. Like, I think we can do it. Yes. You feel like we can do it? We can. Yes, Dow's <laughs> on the go. <laughs> you look like Dwayne the Drunk Jocks. Drain the Rock Johnson tonight, today. Have you seen the photo of him? No, what is that? He wears like a black long sleeve turtleneck and jeans with like a chain. Oh, that's a thing. I'll show you a picture. This is my New York outfit. You know, you wear black top and jeans. Oh yeah, we gotta find you a jacket. We gotta style you. Alright. I have this, which is like a longer one, but it ties in the waist. Or this one from my edit with Astro the Label. That's long and long. I don't need long. But I know long might not be mobile for our walk. What about this guy right here? Or I have a brown. Oh yeah, that's from Beyond Yoga. <laughs> of course you'd pick that one up. That's perfect. <laughs> mm. 
got my OPP, of course. My mom got the Joyful Almond and added spinach. And then he had extra of my OPP, so he gave it to my mom so she could try it. Love it all around. Are we addicted to juice generation now? Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. More beverages for us. We've made it to Hudson Yards. This looks so pretty, thank you. And uh, we just got a little coffee and now we're gonna go to the vessel and walk around. I don't know what the view is gonna be like from there, but it should be cool. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you next time. Oh.